So, what did I get at the indoor-outdoor garage parking lot sale? I guess they, I don't know, maybe they have a labor shortage in it or something was wrong with the big tent, but it was all inside. So I bought one of these ammo boxes. I think this was a little, about $3. Uh, now this doesn't claim to be waterproof. It says, hold six to eight boxes of standard ammo. I'm not using it for ammo. Uh, corrosion resistant bale latch. Okay, pre-drilled for a padlock. Lock sold separately. Pre-drilled for a padlock. If they say so, I don't see that. <laughs> uh oh. Heavy gauge polypropylene construction with reinforced lift. And uh, this is the reinforcements. So, what did we get? They gave me some more coupons. I saw these funnels, and the other day I was thinking I wanted a smaller funnel to. I'm going to be making up some chemicals to test mushrooms with, believe it or not. And I thought it would be nice to have a smaller funnel. So, this has got. It's funny, there's this funny little whole thing holding it. So this was, these were in the dollar bin, I believe. And, uh, obviously you just cut that thing off, I assume. Because you wouldn't want them all like this unless you are a masochist. Because you have to do each one in the, separately. There we go. So there's a little bitty funnel. And this is the the biggest, the biggest funnel, and two in between. It says uh, two, three, four, and five inch diameter uh, funnels, durable, thick walled polypropylene construction, high visibility color. So in case you lose them, you can find them. Then I got one of these things. I've seen these a lot recently, and they are really bright. I mean. Uh, I can see putting it down to show, you know, for a counter or something. I, you know, but looking into this is really kind of nasty. It's too bright to look into. It requires four AAA batteries that are included. Oh, <laughs> warning to prevent serious injury. Wear A and SI approved safety goggles during use. So you're going to put safety goggles on every time you turn this on? People with pacemakers should consult their physicians before use. Electromagnetic fields in close proximity to heart pacemakers could cause pacemakers interference or pacemaker failure. Hmm. With LED lights? Hmm. It doesn't sound quite possible, but... Do not mix old and new batteries. That's We all know that. You don't mix types. You don't mix old and new. If you're going to change all the batteries, you change them all at once. Otherwise, if you put a... If you have, like... Uh, three good batteries and a weak battery, you don't get the effect of all the batteries. You end up with lower power because uh, just having a real weak one or two in with good ones, it just uh, ruins the uh, batteries that are good. Okay, it says it's got directions for mounting, drilling holes, and all that, or just remove the backing of the Lip, uh, loop tape, Velcro tape, you can maybe see that there, and, uh, you know, peel off the thing and uh, put it on a surface. It says this has magnets in it. I didn't notice that. Of course I have. Yeah, I guess I could tell that it's, it's reacting to my Leatherman, so yeah, it, it does have a magnet on it. Just a neat idea, but like I say, I think it's 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 way too bright to uh, be to stare at. So you put it somewhere where you wouldn't be looking. You wouldn't want this like by your TV or something. And these are this is just kind of a light for where you don't have power. You don't want to run power. You don't have power. You don't have a socket nearby. You can throw this in, and then you have you have a source of light. Of course, you're going to have to. Uh, change the batteries but the good thing about LEDs is LEDs are much more uh, there we go get the glare off of it much more efficient means of lighting in other words with the old-fashioned tungsten bulb which they have a picture of here with a filament 
uh, a lot of the energy, electrical energy, was used up in heating that filament to a point where it could glow. Well, all of that is unnecessary with LEDs, and it can it converts more of the power, the electrical power to light. Now, it still wastes some as heat, and you'll know that you'll notice that most often with high wattage LEDs. And uh, it is also a problem, believe it or not, they manufacture some LEDs that are over a watt, and uh, after they're used a long period of time, that uh, the heat and the light will actually cloud the the plastic they're encased in and cut down your light. So it's kind of like, what? You're using the LEDs to get more light, and then they actually uh, make the light less. So uh, just be careful of that sometimes when you're buying, when you're looking at higher wattage, uh, like the one watt LED rather than the combos. There. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have this in my car. I think I'm gonna keep uh, some ham radios in this, ham radio receivers, some of the cords, some of the things like that. Uh, I think this is a good idea. You can just pick it up and go with it. I think this would be a good size too for uh, people. Maybe we should try to devise a little car kit in, in this uh, for for emergency use, or uh, might be nice to uh, use for a, you know, have some first aid supplies and then stuff like that. It's kind of, you know, uh, jumper cables would take most of the thing up, but uh, jumper cables are all still nice to have because uh, they can be so useful. They do have these units now that you can charge, and some of them are, aren't that big, and you, you plug them into your car, and it will allow you to uh, start your car when the battery's dead. But, uh, there we go. Tell me what you think. Uh, you know, if you're doing Harbor Freight, you should always, you should, you definitely want to get in on their email because then they mail you all these coupons. They have the things like, oh, buy, you know, buy this, get this free, and all those types of things, you know, about the sales. You know, if you're me, like me, you shop the sales. So if I need like a electric lawn trimmer, you can wait till you get a 20% coupon. And they have the sales regularly enough, so it's not like, you know, saying, oh, I gotta, I gotta wait three more months to get something. No, they have them enough so that uh, you can watch the sales and have some idea of what you wanna get, and then go there and, and get the discount. Bye.